here it is. This is the telescope they spotted the uh, comet with that eventually struck Jupiter. On March 23rd, 1993, Eugene Shoemaker, his wife Carolyn, and David Levy were operating the 18-inch telescope at Palomar Observatory in Southern California. They were operating out of this little dome right here. They were searching the night sky for comets and asteroids. While looking near the planet Jupiter, they discovered an object. At first, Carolyn thought it was a galaxy before realizing it was actually a comet. Because the telescope they were using was too small to give them details, they called their friend Jim Scotty who was operating the 200-inch telescope nearby. That was this telescope right here. After waiting two hours, David Levy called Jim to see what he could see. According to Levy, Jim Scotty answered the phone in a voice he had never heard before. David Levy said, Jim, are you okay? Jim said, uh, yes, David. That sound you heard is me trying to pick my jaw off the floor. Levy said, do we have a comet? Jim said, boy, do you have a comet. Then Jim began to describe it to him. The comet they discovered became known as Shoemaker Levy 9. And after other astronomers tracked it for two months, on May 20th, 1993, they realized it was on a collision course with Jupiter. They projected the impact of the 21 pieces to occur in July of 1994. Telescopes all over the world were watching on July 16th when the first fragment impacted Jupiter. It created a fiery plume about half the size of the Earth. Over the next six days, the 20 other pieces impacted, giving scientists a show that could never happen again. Scientists theorized that if one of the bigger pieces hit the Earth, a dark cloud would envelop the globe in about an hour to an hour and a half and block out the sun for months, potentially ending all life on Earth. The original telescope that located the comet is on display at Palomar Observatory, but it is right here in this visitor center store and visitors, when they go visit, can walk in here, make a left turn, and that telescope, that 18-inch telescope, is right here, right in here inside the building. Here it is. This is the telescope they spotted the uh, comet with that eventually struck Jupiter. In 1986, Eugene Shoemaker got a phone call that said the Palomar Observatory was going to shut down this telescope. But he immediately called the director and offered to pay for all repairs. And he saved it. He actually saved it. But this is it. Visits are free during their visitor hours. 
In addition to the store and visitor center, guests are allowed to visit the 200-inch telescope. They also give group tours of the giant telescope on weekends only from June to October. The dome that was used to discover the comet is not open to the public. So there you have it. The location of the 18-inch telescope that spotted the comet that impacted Jupiter in July of 1994, right here on the Forrest Haggerty Channel.